भुक्ति प्रदायिनी कहा गया है कि जो जिस पर मां की कृपा हो जाए हालांकि मां की कृपा तो सब पर होती है एवरीबडी इज वर्दी ऑफ हर ग्रेस परंतु आपने शायद घरों में भी देखा होगा माए जो होती हैं करती सबका है परंतु फिर भी एक आधा बच्चा या तो फेवरेट होता है या जिसका माँ का ज्यादा ध्यान जाता है उस बच्चे की ओर जिसके लिए वो झूठ बोलने को भी तैयार होती है जिसके लिए वो उसके सब कर्मों को भी छुपाने को तैयार होती है वो दो ही परिस्थितियों में होता है यदि आप विचार करेंगे तो पाएंगे कि पहली परिस्थिति वो है जब माँ को लगे मेरे इस बच्चे को मेरी बहुत आवश्यकता है जो थोड़ा सा कमजोर होता है माँ का ध्यान उसकी ओर थोड़ा अधिक होता है दूसरा वो जिसने माँ को बहुत सुख दिया हो जिसने माँ को बहुत सुख दिया हो तो माँ चाहती है कि मेरे इस बेटी को या बेटे को कतई भी दुख ना हो उसके लिए मैं जो जो कर सकती हूँ मुझे करना चाहिए तो जब ये माला डाली जिस पर स्वर्ण के वो बने हुए हैं ब्यूटीफुल थिंग्स विद जेट्स वट एवर यू वन कॉल एम लिल फ्लावर्स तो मुझे यही लगा कि वास्तव में जब माँ की कृपा होती है तो ऐसे ही मनुष्य के जीवन में ना केवल की फूल खिलते हैं परंतु साथ में समृद्धि भी आती है कभी भी आप किसी भी बैंक में जाएंगे कैशियर को हंसता हुआ नहीं देखेंगे कभी देख लीजिएगा करोड़ों में खेल रहा है पर हंस नहीं रहा क्योंकि उसके नहीं है वो बेचारा सिर्फ बांट रहा है तो जो चीजें कृत्रिम हो जीवन में जो हमारी ना हो वो कितनी ही क्यों ना हो उसके प्रति एक स्वाभाविक वैराग्य होता है ठीक वैसे ही जब मनुष्यों को यह समझ में आ जाता है कि कुछ भी मेरा नहीं यहां पर सिवाय भगवान के इसका अर्थ नहीं कि हम सब संबंधों का त्याग कर दें मात्र इतना सा कि ये सदा मन में इसका विचार रखें कि कुछ भी स्थाई नहीं कि एक मात्र जो स्थाई चीज है जिससे स्थिरता आती है चेतना में प्रज्ञा में जीवन में मन में वो हमारा ईश्वर के साथ कितना घनिष्ठ संबंध है उस पर निर्भर करता है ये जो नवदुर्गा साधना है ये भी कुछ कुछ वैसा ही है एक ढंग है माँ के साथ संबंध स्थापित करने का एक मेथड है एक शैली है एक पद्धति है जिसको चलते हुए हमारे शास्त्रों ने जिसका वर्णन किया जिसके आधार पर व्यक्ति देवी माँ के थोड़ा और निकट हो जाता है मैं और समय नहीं लेना चाहूँगा बट दो ही तीन चीजें मुख्य बताना चाहूंगा फॉर द नेक्स्ट नाइन डेज प्लीज डू नॉट लूज साइट ऑफ द फैक्ट दैट यू आर हियर नॉट फॉर अदर पीपल यू आर हियर फॉर डिवाइन मदर दैट द रीजन यू हैव ट्रेवल्ड दिस फार द रीजन यू आर हियर इज बिकॉज यू वॉन्ट टू बी क्लोजर टू गॉड Anything less than that should not be acceptable to you. Anything less than that um, is is a waste of your time, my time, and the ashram's time. Now, obviously, the question is that how to enforce that thought process, how to enforce that intention in the universe. One good way is by shutting up. Is to be quiet. <coughs> so 
first uh, philosophical angle, then I'll tell you the practical one. <clears throat> if you're talking, you're not listening. And if you're not listening, that means you're not chanting the names of Divine Mother. Ideally, all that should be happening over the next nine days is that you should be constantly in constant remembrance of the only constant in your life, which is Mother Goddess. So now the practical aspect, when you are here in the temple or around the temple, please do not talk, do not make noises, <clears throat> do not cause interruptions in other people's japa. Now, be gentle with your words, with your actions, with your thoughts over the next nine days. After that, it's optional. <laughs> and the reason I say that is, I would like you to gain maximum benefit out of sadhana. You know, some people keep trying their whole lives to succeed at something. And that moment never really arrives. And then there are some people who will take up something or take on something and within two, three, four years they'll just, you know, totally master it, champion it. They've gained the maximum utility out of whatever endeavor they got into. So if you're going to do half-hearted attempt or if you're not going to stay true to why you are here over the next nine days, you will be in the former category. Where, which means you will keep doing sadhanas like these, but still wonder um, why things aren't the way you thought they would be. The other option is to be in the latter category and to really understand that every single moment matters. So if, you, if somebody comes and talks to you, you can just go like you go to your husband's. Okay? <laughs> You can just go, shh, don't even go, go shush, just go quiet, you know, or wear the silence badge. Now, I don't know if we have those many of them, but, uh, or wear a frown, they will know you don't want, not in a mood to talk. Just joking. So, be yourself, in other words. <laughs> Do not waste your energy talking. The core mantra of Navdurga Sadhana, of course, it changes every day, as you know. But either you pick the Navarana mantra, right? Aing, ring, kling, chamunda, vichya. If you are, if you want to do it with the lineage, then you add aing, ring, shring, aing, ring, kling, chamunda, vichya. Both are equally effective. One is longer, the other one's shorter. That's just about the only difference in this place. So the Navarana mantra, is the main mantra. When you are not doing anything, or even when you are doing anything, chant that mantra as much as you can over the next nine days, but do it in your mind. So, you are a lot of devotees, there is no sense in it. Don't put your devotees on the other let everybody do their own chanting in their own mind, uh, lest we wish to you know, interrupt other people's uh, chanting too. So, chant as much as you can when you are eating food, when you are partaking of your meal, with every bite as you are chewing it, chant that mantra. No din agle for the next nine days, just become ekdam, totally immerse yourself in the devotion of the Goddess. Otherwise, it would just end up being another social event for you. Kya ashram mein gaye, khaya piya, baatein ki, aap ko Swami ji kaise jaantein hai, aap ko kab se jaantein hai, aap ka kaun se experience hua, mera to baut bada hua, aap kitne baje soye, kitne baje uthe, mujhe to neen nahi aai, shor pad raha tha, upar wale dance kar rahe the, nichele wale shor kar rahe the. And then you will go back to your homes, people say, how was it? You'll say, it was wonderful. It was really good. On the, the other option is to really 
put in your spiritual bank account a solid deposit. And the real deposit every day is the amount of mantra chanting you will do. Hence my recommendation, chant as much as you can. Because there may be a million other methods, that's the method that worked for me. When there was no other moment left in my day or night to chant, and I think somewhere Divine Mother figured out this guy is not in a mood to give up, she thought, all right, what the heck, let me just go <laughs> show up. Because he's not giving up. When there was nothing else left to do in my day. Just her holy names. So fill your day with that. Give yourself the gift of, of her grace and earn it by being in her constant remembrance. Spend as much time in solitude as you can, which means you may not be alone since it's a public place, but you can be by yourself. You can be in solitude.